and welcome to tutorial number two. Uh, this tutorial is going to focus on the user interface of the Magic Pro software. Uh, as mentioned, I'm going to be using the Magic Pro Pro software. Uh, there are some menu items that uh, the Magic Pro Lite version does not have, uh, and I'll try and mention them as we come across them. Um, so as you see, this is the user interface. Um, I have my JPEG picture file in the center of the instrument or the object that I'm going to be measuring. Um, as mentioned previously, the orientation of this picture should be in landscape mode. Uh, in other words, when you're taking a photograph of your instrument uh, that you're going to measure or using a draw drawing file uh, of the instrument, try to have it in a landscape mode, occupying as much of the picture space as possible. Uh, meaning that the top plate or the soundboard or whatever surface you're measuring uh, occupies as much of the picture which will give you the most resolution. This will allow you to optimize the, the workspace uh, and get as much detail of your soundboard um, or top plate or whatever object you're measuring so that you can get as many measurements as possible in and therefore increase uh, your, your accuracy on your picture. So, meaning that, I'll just give you some examples. Um, if you loaded a picture in a vertical kind of format like this, you don't have a lot of space for placing measurements on this particular soundboard. Um, having the, the fingerboard and the tuners and everything like that in the picture is of no use. So, uh, try and take your photographs to optimize the workspace. And as I said, uh, the landscape mode is much better for that. Um, so a good example is this picture of a mandolin. Um, workspace has been op optimized to show only the, the top plate of the mandolin and uh, where I can place my measurements in great detail. This is again a uh, an area that many users make is they try and take a picture of the whole instrument even if it is in landscape mode again we don't need the tuners or the sound or the fretboard uh, we're only interested in the actual article to be measured in this case the uh, the soundboard of the actual guitar so I'm going to be using the uh, violin picture just because it gives us a, a good view and it also has a lot of detail in there that we're going to need later on when we get to the contouring, um, cutting out the air folds and the chin rest and bridge and so forth. Um, and it's got a good shape to it. So we'll use that picture. In the bottom left hand side of the user interface, uh, you can put a name for your project, uh, the date and version numbers. And on the right hand side, you can make some notes if you like. Uh, regarding this particular project or this measurement. The notes on the right hand side and the names on the left hand side will actually be included in your printout should you choose to print uh, this project. Right On the uh, top right hand side um, there is a manual control for the free and the hold mode. Um, these are duplicated on the Magic Probe controller as well and can be invoked by the push buttons but can also be done from here. Uh, what the free and the hold mode does is that when you're taking a measurement at a particular location um, and you want to ensure that the ball on the probe is absolutely centered and that you're measuring the lowest possible uh, measurement at that location, um, in other words that your probe is, is absolutely vertical and flat on the surface, you can invoke the hold mode and what that'll do is it will lock the uh, reading from the probe at the highest value um, and will not allow any higher measurements to go through. Uh, it will, however, allow lower measurements to go through and then will relock on that lower measurement. So you'll see right now I've got a reading of 4.27. Um, increasing the measurement will not move the, the reading any higher, but as if I lower the measurement down to 4.06 that will be the new locked value so that allows you to kind of rock the probe or move it back and forth in that location uh, that you're measuring and just make sure that you have the lowest value uh, before you click the mouse to enter the value onto the picture and that can be released again by the free mode <coughs> in the uh, left hand side there are the two windows for the probe uh, readings itself coming from the actual magic probe 
and you will see that there's a reading for mils and millimeters. Mils is in inches, a thousandth of an inch, and uh, the millimeters is uh, as is with two decimal places. You would choose in the software uh, which particular uh, set of values you want to work with, either mils or millimeters. So in the in the top we have the normal uh, menu layout, starting with file. In the file menu. Uh, the most important one to start with is to clear all and that that will ensure that there are no other layers of measurements or pre-map mode me measurements in the system so when we're starting with a completely uh, blank instrument or a new project uh, we want to be sure to click on clear all this will make sure that we we don't have any hidden measurements um, in any of the layers that that we don't know about um, so that's very important to remember on a new project is to clear all load new image we've been through this is to actually load a new picture file into the uh, system and of course save image will will save this together with the measurements um, in the later sections pay attention to what actually gets saved so only the measurements that I add to the actual uh, picture file or the JPEG file will be saved with that file and will become embedded and will actually become part of the picture. Define layers, export measurements and import measurements and also show contour. This group here is only for the Magic Pro Pro software. Uh, they do not appear and are not valid in the uh, light version of the software so we'll get into those at a later stage. In the settings menu this is where we can choose the uh, unit of measure that we're going to be working with either in mils or millimeters you can choose whichever one you want and then you can also choose whether you want to actually display those units or not so for example if I worked in in millimeters and I chose to display the units um, then when I click on the actual body with my mouse the value that appears there says 0.91 millimeters um, now the millimeters there is should be obvious because that's the uh, the unit that you choose to work in. So if you want to save a bit of space and and the clutter, then just go to the settings menu and uncheck the the units or click on no. And then the next time that you click on the soundboard, it'll actually be 1.12 with no units because it should be obvious what units you're working in. Right, the pre-map mode will be discussed in the next tutorial. Um, that is the alternate way of entering measurements. This is the first way, as you've seen, uh, just purely clicking on the soundboard. The, the pre-map mode allows a pre-planning of locations of where those uh, entries are going to be. And again, the manual entry mode is only uh, for the Magic Pro Pro software um, and does not appear in the light mode but as an example on the manual entry mode this is really for uh, people who do not have a magic probe uh, instrument and really just want to use the software uh, to record previous measurements that they've already made on instruments or objects um, or they are making those measurements with some other kind of tool some other kind of caliper and just want a way of record keeping and want to use the software to be able to print out the pictures with the measurements on uh, and save those files. So when I invoke the, the, the manual entry mode um, and I click anywhere on the picture it will allow a manual entry of my of a measurement. So I can click there and I can enter a measurement for example 2.5 and that will save that uh, on the screen and anywhere that I click then I can enter another value and so forth. So I can build my map of uh, measurements even though I don't own a magic probe uh, unit and then once these measurements have been placed in um, they can also be used in the contouring um, application as we'll see in later tutorials. Uh, these manual measurements can also be edited in other words the the actual uh, placement can be uh, of the actual location can be edited as you see when I move my mouse onto the onto the dot uh, the mouse becomes a hand and I can drag and drop that uh, into a new location. The print menu will allow you to print your picture either in landscape mode or portrait mode and obviously the printout will include all the measurements uh, notes and uh, names that you've placed on the file. 
The delete last entry allows you to delete the last measurement that you've inserted uh, or in the case of the pre-map mode, the last location that you've entered. So if I click there, you can also click un, uh, Control Z. But if I click on the undo, that'll take away the, the last measurement that I put onto the instrument. Uh, so in this case, when I'm in the um, normal mode, when I enter measurements onto the soundboard or onto the picture of the soundboard and I click on undo, it will take away the last uh, entry. And if I do that again, it'll take away the next to last one and so forth in, in sequence. Uh, there's also a redo button if I delete one by mistake and I want to redo it, I can add those uh, deleted items back again. The port selection and calibration, we've already been through the serial port connection in tutorial number one. Uh, that is to actually connect the Magic Probe unit to the, to the software. Um, there is another option on there which is called Calibrate Probe. Uh, it is a good idea to recalibrate the probe um, a few times if you're doing a brief project and lots of measurements. Um, temperature does affect the accuracy of the reading, so if the temperature in your workshop changes for some reason um, or you think it might have changed, there is no harm in, in doing a quick recalibration procedure. So it does not disconnect anything, all you do is click on Calibrate it asks you to confirm, click on OK, it gives you the message calibrating probe and then in the case of the um, Magic Probe controller you'll press the button, tells you to attach the ball again, press the button, it's doing the calibration, remove the ball, press the button one last time and the calibration should be completed. And then we can continue again uh, with our measurements as normal. The label format will allow you to change the color and the font of the actual uh, measurements being placed on the screen. So if I wanted to change the color to purple or pink, um, I can do that so that when I place measurements on the soundboard, it will now be in pink. Um, and of course I can change the actual font size as well, make it smaller or bigger, um, so that when I place measurements now it will be in a different size. So that really completes the, the overview of the uh, user interface and uh, in the next section we'll actually put some useful measurements and actually uh, look at the different ways of placing measurements onto the picture uh, using the Magic Probe software.